What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. Moving along right here with the mudroom laundry room. Mudroom laundry room. Drywall's going up. This wall right here is an interior wall, but it used to be an exterior wall. So I did the little laser gun with the heat. And even though the house on the inside was 72 degrees, the outside brick at one point was five degrees. So this right here is connected to the outside wall. This used to be the outside wall, but now you've seen I insulated everything else and it's maintaining 60 degrees right here. And the drywall's not even done. We still got holes in the ceiling and everything. But what I'm doing right now, I got a good buddy of mine uh, doing the drywall for me, but I still have my, I call it my Pink Panther. And so this wall is getting drywall tomorrow. So as you can see right now, all I'm doing is I'm not even gluing, I'm not taping, I'm not nothing. I'm I'm just cutting the Pink Panther to size and squeezing it into the wall. So that this way when he puts the drywall over it, if you put, touch this right here versus touch this right here, this right here is the room temperature. This right here is actually colder. So that's what I'm doing with this and this little extra piece of the Pink Panther. This is insulation. If you're living in the Midwest, if you're living in a colder region, even if you're living in a hotter region, insulation is the key to keeping the inside. It creates a whole barrier. This whole room right here is completely wrapped from the outside elements. So along with insulating to keep it warm in the winter time, because it, you know, it's been, we get the, the Arctic blast over here. And I mean, it's right now this, before I, we've put the drywall up, it's been maintaining 50 degrees with no heat back in here, 50 degrees with no heat back in here. But also in the summertime, it would be all windows. So we would get all that sunlight in here and they were old hundred year old windows. They weren't the double pane, the gas or whatever. So we're hoping it's gonna be a little bit cooler, but for all these extra pieces right here, this is what I'm putting in behind. I'm squeezing these all behind here. And even if you double them up or whatever, this is what's going behind here. So all these little, little extra pieces I'm saving because I'm insulating the crap out of this wall before the drywall goes up. So wherever I can squeeze it, I'm gonna squeeze it in here. Of course, bigger sheets if possible, but in the same, I got that $25 roll of tape right here. This right here, so if there's any of the Georgia Pacific tape, this is $25 for the roll. But man, this works so much better than the outside tape you're supposed to tape the Tyvek with. This worked a lot better. So any little pieces, any little jog dots and ends that I got right here, I'm actually going to uh, just tape together with this right here. But you see it's 60 degrees right now. It's about 30 degrees outside and there is no heat in this room right here. This right here, you see there's my kitchen right there, little drywall stuff on the floor. So this right here is completely insulated. I went step by step with you to show you how I insulated it. This right here, that's actually goes to the soffit. So there's air leaks right there and air leaks right there still, but it's still 60 degrees in here because I over insulate everything that I can insulate. I insulate and just a little bit of not having this cold wall right here when you put the drywall over it it's gonna feel amazing so insulate 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 uh, if you want to keep a room and your bills not going through the roof we actually got an electric heater or put it in here bound it on the wall I went with the 120 not the 220 but uh, we may not even need it back here because it's not even done and it's already 60 degrees I keep my house at 72, so just with the air coming from the back out this way, that's the temperature in there. All right, talk to you later. I'm All I got to do is I got a razor blade somewhere around here. I'm squeezing these up in here, and you see they're not perfect. They're all not perfect, but it's going to, with the drywall on top of All right, so I just finished in here. Uh, all I did was a styrofoam right here. All the styrofoam, I put the styrofoam all on this wall, and when you touch the wall, there's zero temperature you feel now. I uh, just use a little bit of the tape to put it through together right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish drywall. You want to say hi? We're gonna finish drywalling this side now. And uh, you see, there's no heat in this back porch at all. It's about 27 to 30 degrees outside. And it's like, if you look at this angle or you look at that angle, it's about 63 degrees in this back porch. Uh oh, who's those? Slap back. Yeah, slap <laughs> back. So it's like uh, there's a uh, like I said, there's no heat yet on this back porch, 
We have the uh, the kitchen door open. That's the only thing heating this back porch with it like almost 30 degrees outside. And uh, you see it's 60 degrees in here. Now there's the cadet baseboard heater that I got to get hooked up in here. And we're just going to be able to keep that on low. And that's just in case. At, at one point in the Arctic, whatever, it was like minus 12, minus 15 degrees out. And the wind chill was like minus 25. The brick outside was uh, like... Uh, <laughs> you hear my grandson he wants to be in the video the the brick outside was five degrees so with this right here even if the brick is five degrees you're not gonna feel the heat right here so all right come on isaiah you can say subscribe like share share yeah all right subscribe like share